Welcome everybody to another video of ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we'll talk about the famous Clio, the goddess slash muse of history and the guitar. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so to stay tuned for upcoming videos. Clio, also spelled Clio, was one of the nine muses. Clio is the muse of history. She is often shown holding a scroll that is open or sitting beside a chest full of books. Clio was the patron of history and the guitar. The ancient Greek word for history was derived from Cleos. She is often depicted holding a clarion in one hand and a book in the other. The muses are nine different goddesses who are the patrons of arts, literature and the sciences. She is the daughter of Zeus, the sky god and the lead of the Olympians and Mnemosyne, the Titanesian goddess of memory. The myth of the creation reveals that Zeus lay with Mnemosyne nine times over the course of nine days to bring the muses into the world. He wanted to celebrate the victory of the Olympians over the Titans and forget the hardships of life. Their voices, songs and dancing was meant to relieve the sorrows of the world. According to some myths, Apollo, the Greek god of the sun and of knowledge. The muses followed Apollo while he wandered Mount Helicon where they lived. The muses were considered to be the source of inspired creation. Many believed that the inspiration they required to write poetry, literature, music or any artistic creation came from their nine muses. It was believed that Clio lived with her sisters, the muses, on Mount Parnassos or Mount Helicon. She had one son, Iakinth, who was a divine hero in Greek myth. His parentage depends on the myth, but often he is considered to be Clio's son with King Pieros or King Ovealus of Sparta. In some myths, however, it is said that Clio had Iakinth with King Amiklas, the forefather of Sparta. Some myths also suggest she had another child, Imeneus. Imeneus was the patron god of weddings and was considered one of the winged gods of love, otherwise known as the Erotes. Some accounts reveal that Clio was the mother of Linus, though he is also depicted as being the son of the other muses Calliope or Urania. Linus was the poet and musician and was a sibling of Orpheus. He could be considered the embodiment of the Lamentation, which was a classical Greek song, Genre, identified as the Linos. Clio was sometimes called the Proclaimer. Her symbols include the scroll, books or tablets. She was considered a celebrator of history, of astonishing deeds and incredible accomplishments. She would proclaim them and recount the history of the heroes. Her name is derived from the same Greek root word that means to celebrate, to recount or to make famous. Let us finish with the following saying. Education needs these three, natural endowment, study, practice. Aristotle. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.